Welcome back to Azra's Wrath. So now we pick on episode 5 where we last off uh, in the fight with uh, Wizen. After the first phase he just grew up and now we have to fight his giant form. And believe it or not, this is just the beginning of the craziness factor with this boss. And remember, remember, this is the first boss only. This is this just is actually made, not this is made the just to set to up the tone of the game. Keep in mind that. Yep. Gladly. Ouch. Da, 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 da. Oh, and yes, believe me, just because he's powerful, that doesn't mean uh, Azuras doesn't get uh, scot free from battles. Believe me, he gets hurt really bad in these battles. Yep. Of course, right. pain gives him more rage, and rage Here makes him go. more powerful. First thing to do, we have to reach him. So now we have to uh, use the combination of shooting and running. Basically, kind of like Mega Man, actually. We have to run, jump, and shoot. So it's Mega Man only in 3D, and the 3D doesn't suck balls like an x -tone. Yes! Huh. Alright. Maybe we are in a possible X9. Jumping on platform now. Whee. And now, now we have a downward to dash. Yeah, into the classical shooting uh, mechanic for this game. There we go. This space is actually really easy. And boom! Wide. Ow. And yes, he's actually going to teabag us. How <laughs> nice. Though. Ow. That's polite. Alright, now watch. This is actually priceless. Yeah, Ezra's face is like. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, we can also we have we have to shut him up in order to progress this time around. Yep. And here's another thing: the power struggle. In this case, you don't actually have to fight the boss; you just need to, you know, mash the buttons up until you reach the burst mode. However, it's not as straightforward as you think. Sometimes there's a lot of resistance, and it varies. So there's really? actual actual challenge factor in this mashing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Imagine, uh, for a given example, in the, in the Dragon Ball Z games, uh, where you have like a beam of war fight or you have a punching struggle, uh, and it's up to you against another player, and in case uh, uh, it's up to how much you press, uh, which it varies and everything. Anyway, this phase now, we have to face the, the Starfighter. It's, uh, it's relatively easy, we just need to punch him and uh, get the missiles back. However, it's also this uh, uh, simple beam attack where he's trying to get us. It can be dodged easily, so just keep your eyes on and just keep spamming the triangle. But don't overheat, otherwise you'll be very in trouble because you will not be able to dodge the missiles or parry them. Yeah, this is one of those moments where you actually need a bigger form of strategy. Mass triangle, yeah. but don't do it to the point where you overheat, otherwise you will be quite decent and again. This is Azura, just a normal man, just destroying on his own an entire Starfire. It's yeah. amazing. And in, and in this case, in order to balance things out, even your ranged attacks uh, fill in your burst mode. So it's less. So much. So yeah. Yay, Wizen's personal ship is being destroyed. Sunk, you may say. Nope, explosion and everything. Alright. So the next phase is a race. A race? Yes. Yep. We actually need to fight him while racing against him. <laughs> and all the while he's just gonna shoot the, these uh, energy balls. 
and uh, throwing also missiles. Of, no, I don't know how. How? But uh, again, it, it just need to do like before. Just dodge the balls and uh, get the missiles back at him up until the next phase. Again, leaves. Yes, that laughter is so recycled. Could you imagine if it did stuff like this? If the gods had a sports day for their children? <laughs> Maybe. All right. Yes, so he just grabs him by the finger, <laughs> then pulls him. Really? Hold on. So now he's gonna try to use the megaton punch. However, Azura is a counter move. He's gonna. If you remember, if these. We're gonna actually gonna reference now, Pedro, after this power struggle, uh, the first season of Dragon Ball, actually. Oh, Specifically, really? the fight with uh, the great mage Piccolo. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah. However, it's not gonna end the same. It, it's gonna be a bit twisty. Mm. Because instead of actually going past through him, he's gonna use him as a giant slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Blast it off again! And it's not over yet! Does he get thrown into the sun like cooler? No, because he actually, again, it's not over yet. However, I, <laughs> yes, I think someone gets thrown into the sun at some point. Boy, it's a good thing these gods didn't think to take him all on at once. Yeah. Actually, it's justified for this first couple of them because uh, they don't, they really underestimate him. Yeah. He looks like an absorber from Doctor Who. <laughs> and if you recall the, the trailers, uh, the first couple of trailers for this game, you will know exactly what's going to happen now. Reminder that this is like the first general we have to face. Yes. And he's tame in comparison. Yeah, even the others will point out at the end of his part, I think. So yeah, basically, right. they start. They, these gods start big and they're only gonna get bigger. Well, not necessarily. Actually, Azura's we're gonna. Rough. We're gonna mock this um, his strategy in this thing. Azura's However. Rough. Uh, in terms of power, there, there will be a scale, but will not be necessarily big. There will be bigger bosses, don't worry. But uh, not every general has the strategy of being bigger. Uh, well, Dwayne, uh, here's the thing, Dwayne. Look at look at this with this. That, that anime-like stinger thingy, that, uh, at least it's not as annoying as for kids Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you had to literally go, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! And then right after, <laughs> and then immediately right after that again, Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> and yes. the other gods is... And yes, in order to defeat us, but, but containing the damage, he's gonna poke us to death with a <laughs> single finger. <laughs> it's literally the finger poke of death. And keep in mind, the Azure is just alone, a simple human being in terms of size, and this is his reaction. Stand your ground. Yes! And... Straight face to it. Here we go. Yeet. Yeah, it's not really well. <laughs> yep. Fast track. It wasn't me. I had decided to save what is this Mithra? world. What great rebirth! Father, Mithra, your death shall be the foundation of my new world. All right, rage burst again. <laughs> Thank goodness I remember it's leg day for this. Oh, so this is what um, Sage was talking, what Bennett was talking about. Sorry. 
basically, uh, to, um, in the res in his Resident Evil 6 vlog review, um, when he was bringing up the QTEs, he mentioned how, uh, and I'm quoting him, by the way, this was the gameplay for Azor's Wrath. This, and mash circle, or mash X, or mash whatever button told you to mash. So this is what he was talking about, right? Oh, yes. But it, it seems, uh, the, the thing is, again, it's integrated with the gameplay and liking other things like, say, Resident Evil 4. Anyway, it, this is how the fight ends. A single punch after a flurry of them. Done to, uh, a specific, <laughs> only to this finger, which causes a chain reaction. <laughs> when well... Puma gets through to the, to the entire body of Wizen, <laughs> destroy him. <laughs> Gotta love those pressure points, they come in handy. And he explodes. I don't know. I, just... I, I, I don't know, Tail. This whole use pressure points to blow an enemy up. That this is a, becoming this a big cliche. Just... This is becoming a big cliche to me. I, uh, I, know, I think I, 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 I think Komashiro's um, I think Komashiro's <laughs> technique is more interesting. It's more creative, I have to say. But yeah, this is yeah. just the first boss, and it's already been this week. And he was again, he was using promotional materials all the way through the circle of this game. The problem is, well, now as a reason, you know, strength without arms. You know, arms. You even all right. And uh, Yasha has arrived. Oh, all right. Uh, I'll be right back. Already failed once at living. Now you're gonna fail twice. You are a fool. Next time, do not come back. What a cute face. TBC. <laughs> All right, let's see the rating. Hey, ass, ass, ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in, in this particular stinger, we're going to see um, the deities will discuss about Wizen's uh, strategy. Shinto meeting chamber. Impossible! How could Wizen have lost to him? He has brought shame to the seven deities! In all honesty, I'm not surprised. Wizen was the weakest among us, after all. Why am I just yes. the strongest one, then? Because uh, we thought he would take it. He lost the ability believed that size equals strength. See, that's the thing. Size does not equal staying strength in this case. My fear is like, well, when they're that big, it's hard to maintain their composure, so it makes sense a pressure point would be able to wipe them out. In any case, the real problem is about the fat idiot wasted a significant amount of the mantra, and about that took us so long to accumulate. Did you? Yeah, he's not here. But no, don't. That fool. Oh. Our cause will not waver because of something as trivial as this. Who cares about the cause? I'll kill it for fun. <laughs> of course. Not so fast. A large coma has appeared on the surface. With Wizen gone, I need someone to handle it. Then I have someone to handle it. I only follow what my blade first for. Oops. Well, you two are arguing. Yasha went after Ezra himself. Hehe. <laughs> hmm. That could be fun to watch. Yes, I mean, in the next episode, we're actually going to see the the, uh, Azra Wizen, fighting Yasha. Azra's old rival Yasha appears. Ever calm and collected, he outmatches Asura in every regard. However, Yasha says something that ignites the fires of rage within Asura. Alright, we'll see you for episode 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs>